battles between Labour Party LP presidential candidates Mr. Peter Obi and the disputed winner of the 2023 presidential election, Senator Bola Ahmed Tunungu, kick started on Monday, May 8, 2023. The presidential election petition tribunal sitting at the Court of Appeal Abuja consists of a five-member panel of judges and is headed by Justice Aruna Samani. Other members being Justice Stephen Ada, Justice Mustura Bolaji Yusuf, Justice Bolokuromo Ugo, and Justice Abba Mohamed. Justice Samani announced that, apart from Obi's petition, it would commence its pre hearing session with two other petitions, namely the ones by Action Alliance AA and Action People's Party APP. The panel, however, struck out the petition by the Action Alliance after two lawyers appearing for the party claimed to have been instructed by different factions to withdraw the petition. That now leaves the panel with the petition of LP, APP, Allied People's Movement, APM, and Alaji Asiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. In his opening speech, Justice Samani urged the lawyers not to engage in unnecessary technicalities as such could cause delays in the expeditious hearing of the petitions. Election is time bound, let us not waste unnecessary time. Let us cooperate with each other so that everyone will live here satisfied. Avoid unnecessary technicalities. We are determined to look at all the matters brought before us. Let us look at what is good for our country and avoid time wasting applications, he said. He said that there were five petitions and the first three petitions would be heard on Monday, while the last two would be heard on Tuesday. The panel also won against sensational comments over the tribunal's proceedings. Here are five prayers the Labour Party's Peter will be six in his petition against the president-elect, Olaf Tunumbu, jointly filed by Obi and his party, with Ainek, Tunumbu, Shetim Akashim, and APC as the respondents. Let's take a look at the five prayers. 1. 25% in Federal Capital Territory there has been a never-ending debate since Tunumbu was declared winner of the election without securing 25% in the Federal Capital Territory. Hence, Obi and Labour Party wants the tribunal to determine that the second respondent, Tunumbu, having failed to score one quarter of the votes cast at the presidential election in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, was not entitled to be declared and returned as the winner of the presidential election held on 25th February 2023. 2. Election cancellation. Obi and his party also prayed the courts to order the cancellation of the February 25th presidential election, adding the presidential election conducted on 25th February 2023 is void on the ground that the election was not conducted substantially in accordance with the provisions of the Electoral Act 2022 and Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended. 3. Fresh election. In addition to the election cancellation, the LP candidates asked the courts to compel INEC to conduct the fresh election. 4. Fresh election without Tunungu and Shetima. Okute, fondly called by his admirers, also prayed the tribunal to make an order that would disqualify Tunumbu and his running mate Shetima from the fresh election, otherwise known as a rerun. According to the LP flag bearer, the nomination of Kashem Shetima as vice presidential candidate was defective as he did not withdraw from the nomination as a senatorial candidate of his party before accepting to serve as vice presidential candidate of Mr. Tunumbu. 5. Eligibility the petitioners argue that Mr. Tinubu should not have been eligible to run for the top office due to his ineligibility. Obi's lead lawyer, Livi Uzoku, in his submission, said the president-elect was not duly elected by a majority of the lawful votes cast at the time of the election. Also, Obi claimed that APC candidate was linked to drug trafficking by U.S. courts, leading to his eventual forfeiture of the sum of 160,000 US dollars to the American government, adding the latter is not qualified to contest Nigerian presidency.
Hence, Obi and LP would have to prove these claims in court without reasonable doubts. From Lagos, this is Fisunwa Buko, Ms. Express and Grand Television.